Hector Macho Camacho. He's gone, y'all. Um, I just learned that his last name was uh, Matias, like his mother. But I think he uh, took his father's name, Camacho. And he just went with that. And it had a good sound to it, of course, Macho Camacho. But I, was, I heard that's what he, you know, did. So they went with that. But uh, in Puerto Rico, they had an open casket wait inside the gymnasium, you know, and they put the the chain on him, his macho chain that he uh, wore during the uh, 80s that he was so famous for. Before those were like basically even in style, that big necklace, you know. That was uh that was like his thing, he was so flamboyant, but everybody got to come by and um see him and his mother wasn't taking it so well, you know. She broke down, you know, they they killed him, they killed him, you know, over and over cuz you know, that's her son, you know. No mother should have to bury their child. You know, that's my only that's my only thing I don't want to do is like have my mother have to bury me. You know, I, that's one thing I just don't want her to go through. But that's out of my hands, you know. I, can, I have no control over that, but that's something I hope never has to happen. You know, and going back to this, you know, the who's who. Uh, the Puerto Ricans came by to pay their respects, but this is not the funeral. The funerals uh, should be coming within uh, the couple of days or sometime before the end of this week. Some people didn't know if he's going to be buried in Puerto Rico or in the United States, but I'm hearing he's going to be buried in New York. That's what I'm hearing right now. So, uh, emotional moment still, you know. That just shows you, you know, how much love he had. So, you know, how many people remember Camacho? Because um, he's from an era where boxing was important, you know. So people remember him.